uh, Dr. Kara Gans, and I'm a prosthodontist here in Garden City, New York. Periodically, I do these little hangouts, uh, one, to test the process, but more importantly, to provide uh, everyone out there with some basic dental information. Because once in a while, I get patients asking me questions, and rather than just answering those questions to them individually, I think it's just a great idea to put it out uh, to everybody, and hopefully it'll help you make some decisions in your uh, dental life. Now, um, understand that everything I tell you is my opinion, and certainly you should go to your dentist and, uh, and ask them for theirs. This is just basic information. Since I don't know you, don't know what's going on, it's hard for me to give you any information pertaining to your specific needs. But today, we th I thought we'd talk a little bit about dental implants and what they are, how you use them, etc. Now, dental implants have been around for a long, long time. And years and years ago, there were many different types of implants we placed, everything from endosseous blade implants to subperiosteal implants, all kinds of crazy things. But over the last oh, 25 to 30 years, pretty much what we've been doing is something called osseointegration. What that means is we place an implant made out of, uh, made out of titanium into either the upper or lower jaw. We allow that implant to heal for a specific, specific period of time, somewhere between four to six months, depending on the jaw. And then we use that implant in a variety of ways. Now, don't jump out of your seat. This is only a, a model. This is not a real implant. This is far bigger. But that's what a dental implant looks like. And it's, dental implants are made up of several components. Um, the basic implant is in different sizes and different widths based upon where it's being placed in your jaw, et cetera. Um, the implants are once again made out of titanium so that they're, they're medically pure. They're basically inert. They're not going to cause you any harm. They're buried in bone, so they will not set off the uh, detectors at the airport. And this is what an implant looks like. Once again, a giant version. You see they're threaded, much like a screw, and they're also internally threaded on the inside. You can't really see that, but you can sort of get an idea. Now, what happens is this, a surgeon, whether it be a periodontist, an oral surgeon, or many general dentists now do this. Uh, we do not. We're a pro I'm a prosthodontist. I do the replacement, and I have surgeons that I work with, both oral surgeons and periodontists. So anyway, the implant is placed, a specific size hole is drilled in the jawbone under local anesthesia typically. Years ago, we did it in the hospital. No longer is that necessary unless you have a specific need. Today, this is routinely done with just general local anesthetic, Novocaine, um, and uh, in the dental office. So anyway, the surgeon will numb me up a little bit. He'll then drill a hole that's a, a, of a specific size. And then this implant, once again, a smaller version, is threaded into place. Okay, then the gum tissue is normally sutured over it. Sometimes they'll leave it poking through the gum, um, and that depends on the surgeon and the, the implant being placed, etc. After a roughly four to six month period, this implant, because of the fact that bone just loves titanium, this implant will fuse to your jaw. Its relationship to your jaw is different than what a tooth is. The tooth is surrounded by a membrane that has little elastic fibers in it, so teeth actually move a little bit. Dental implants do not move. They are fused to your jaw. So the relationship of the implant to your jaw and your tooth to your jaw are totally different. And the mechanics is different. But once this implant fuses to your jawbone, it could be there for many, many years, if not for a lifetime. That, that doesn't mean that every implant lasts a lifetime. I'm not saying that. But the opportunity for it to do that is much greater than, say, for natural teeth. Because the mechanics is a little bit different. Now, these implants are, are, are basically used to replace missing teeth. They can be used in a wide variety of ways, depending on the, where they're placed, what type of implant, what your needs are, and what your wants are. That's what determines how implants are used. They can be used to replace a single missing tooth, multiple missing teeth with caps. You can use these to hold a denture in place if that's what's needed. So there's lots of uses for dental implants. That is determined by what you need and want and what your dentist feels can be done for you. So an implant is not an implant is not an implant. They, they have to be placed in a skilled manner. They have to be used appropriately. If so, and if, that's, if they're done according to all the rules, then the success rates are extremely high. And we've been doing these for many years, many, many satisfied patients. So anyway, that's what a basically dental implant is. Now, uh, what, what you need to do if you're interested in implants is you need to speak to your dentist Find out if you're a candidate, because you do need a certain amount of bone. But what I'll tell you from experience, that if you really want to have implants placed, if that's something that you want, if you don't want to wear a removable denture, for example, and you want to have implants placed, typically we can find a way to do it.
There are loads of tools at our disposal today that we didn't have years ago that allow us to do that. So if you really want it done and you don't want to, for example, wear a removable denture and you want to have something that is cemented and held into your jaw by dental implants, typically that can be done. So anyway, if you have any, uh, any questions or you need some help, uh, give me a call at 516-741-1230. We're located here in Garden City on Long Island. Even if you just want to give us a buzz for if you have a question, I'll be happy to try to answer it. Once again, if you're not a patient, I can only give you general information since I don't know you and your circumstances. Uh, if you want to become a patient, we'd be more than happy to see you. Dental implants are a great restoration. They are they're helping hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people today lead a real healthy, normal life, eating and functioning the way they'd like to, smiling and free from infection, free from, the, from concerns that they would have had enough otherwise before implants were invented. Anyway, I hope this presents, uh, gives you some information, hope it helps you a little bit, and any questions, uh, then once again, Dr. Carrie Gans, give me a buzz. Take care. Have a great and successful day.